Well, if we're going to meet the horses, this is a pretty special one. Lex, tell us a little bit about her. Yeah, absolutely. This is Graffinox. Uh, we call her Lily at home. She's been Williams Ride for a couple years. She had a really good year. She was second at the British Novice Championships and fourth at Lyon, the seven-year-olds. She's pretty fun to ride. She's not always the most pleasant in the stable. Don't let her face fool you. Um, she can be a bit difficult, but she's really not a mean horse. Um, she likes her own space. She's very much a mare, which I think is a little unusual for William to have, but he really believes in this horse. Yeah, he had a good mare, um, Lady Voltaire, a few years ago. And I don't think he doesn't want mares. I just think that good ones like this are so rare, rare aren't they? Absolutely. He doesn't, he hasn't found a lot that he really synced with like this, like he does with this one. When you first sat on her, when you came from the States, what, what was your first sort of take on her? Um, in all honesty, I was a bit underwhelmed. Um, you know, he had told me this is a really, really good horse. I really believe in her. And flatting her, she's quite nice. She always scores really well in the dressage. But jumping her, it just didn't give me a great feeling. But it's been amazing how she's improved looking at her within the last couple of weeks or even a month. It's just been a different horse. She actually really jumps now, and she's become really careful. So yes, I guess been. he sees what we, we all don't much earlier. <laughs> it's interesting, though, isn't it? Because it seems like the system that you guys have been working on with her has just brought out this improvement and improvement and improvement. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, with most of the horses here, um, there were a few at the very beginning that I just I didn't really know why William had them. And then by the end of the year, it, they've become different horses. I mean, they all have come on so much because it's such a good system. Uh -huh. And with her, like, how did you feel? You know, so obviously we were all watching Le Leon Danger and she's out there <laughs> in the seven-year-olds and there was a chance to win. Um, and then she knocked the first fence knocked down. Knocked the first fence down. You know, and having been a horse that doesn't always jump clear, you worry when they have the first one down. And it had been carnage, going, hasn't it? Absolutely. Nobody jumped clear there. So you're going, oh, no, it's going to be a disaster. But uh, the first fence woke her up, and it was so exciting for her to finish in the top five. I mean, she absolutely was capable, but you just never know if they're going to until yeah. they do. <laughs> so she's going to step up to full star. Are you excited about that? Yeah, it'll, it should be really fun. You know, she's... I will say, even though I didn't always know she had the jump, she's such a fighter on the cross country. You know, she gets out there and you can tell she absolutely wants to go through the flags. So now that she's really, really show jumping, you would think she's absolutely going to be competitive at that level as well. Oh, it's exciting times. Come on, Lil. It's exciting. We've got her new owner for next year, and I think this is going to be a real fun one for everyone to follow. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be good to have another four-star horse in yeah. the yard. Let's see her swanking her stuff. We want to see you on the catwalk, Lily. Come on, <laughs> out you come.